precision screwdrivers or micro screwdrivers. Some manufacturers put the bulky part of the handle farther away from the end cap and some manufacturers put the bulk of the handle more toward the cap. Some manufacturers like PB Swiss have very free spinning caps while other designs have a lot of friction. I'm going to take all of these end caps off and we're going to look at the differences in design but before I do that I'm just going to explain why you might want a bulky handle farther away from the cap versus a bulky handle closer to the cap. If you tend to hold a micro screwdriver like this you might want the bulk and the grippy part closer to the cap. If you tend to hold a micro screwdriver with the index finger on the cap you're going to want the bulk and the grippy part of the handle farther away from the cap. It seems like those are the two main design categories that precision or micro screwdrivers tend to fall into. It's not that one design is better than another. Why not have both types in your tool collection? I just gave you a reason to collect more tools. You're welcome. Now we've got the caps removed and we can look at the design of these caps. The two best ones are the Weha and the PB Swiss. The Weha and the PB Swiss have very free spinning friction free caps that feel secure and precise. The rest of these vary widely. The worst is the Stahlvilla and the Witta, which are basically the same design. This piece of plastic flashing was also present on the Stahlvilla, but I cut it off, smoothed it out, wanted to see if it would make a difference, and it doesn't. The cap doesn't even rest on the rounded part here to reduce the friction. So here's the Witta, this is unmodified. Just a little bit of free spin, definitely more friction with downforce. Vera is the only one of these examples that puts a dimple in the cap. And then that dimple rests on the top to reduce the friction. Except the old Vera ones, the cap would bottom out under pressure and you'd get friction against the handle and the cap. So the little dimple wasn't even doing its job. In an old video, I cut down this cap and now it free spins. It's great with downforce it free spins. So is the new design of Vera any better? The new Vera micro drivers are better than the old ones. No free spin, pretty low amount of friction with downforce. And because of the type of plastic that they use on that sleeve, it acts as a little bit of a bearing. So there's less friction, but the cap still bottoms out on this. I was really surprised at how bad the Baco was. There's no dimple on the handle, there's no dimple in the cap. Here's the Baco cap. Uh, does not free spin. A lot of friction. Definitely more friction with downforce. Like even here you can see that the cap wants to spin on my finger. I do not like that. Okay, here's the Weha. Very good free spin, very low friction with downforce. Okay, let's take a look at the Vessel G-Grip. So they don't have a dimple, but they have this come to a point here. And that does rest inside the cap. There is a gap between the cap and the handle and there is a low amount of friction. So this, because the cap is so loose, it can bind and then there's a lot of friction. And the vessel handle is all the hard plastic, so there's no grippiness anywhere, same as the Focom. Okay, the Focom has no dimple or BB in there. That little circle you see in there is actually an innie and not an outie. So there's absolutely nothing in this cap to rest at a point and reduce the friction on this. And this is the Focom cap. Focom also has the ring. And this was by far the most difficult cap to remove. 
no free spin. The amount of friction increases with downforce. The Hotset and the Ghidorah are the same, but the caps on these are two-part. And I left this inner sleeve on the Ghidorah so you could see what I'm saying. There's no dimple or anything in the cap. They use this sleeve to try to reduce the friction. You get a little bit of free spin. The increase in friction with downforce is not very much. Fr friction sleeve on here, putting the cap back on. Same as the hot set. Philo, both of these styles are fairly free spinning caps, um, but you do get more friction with downforce. Here's the Philo. This, this Philo has no free spin, a lot of friction. There's inconsistencies in manufacturing. This Philo has lots of free spin and very low friction with downforce. So there's some pretty dramatic inconsistencies in the manufacturing of the Philo. Okay, then we've got this other Philo design. Lots of free spin, more friction with downforce, but it still is quite good. It doesn't feel as good as this example, and that again is probably just inconsistencies. You might get a batch of these that are much better, who knows. And the PB Swiss is the best. They've got the little dimple on the handle, so that it rests on one point and the cap absolutely rests on that. So even with downforce, the PB Swiss is a very free spinning cap. Lots of free spin. It's very free spinning, even with downforce. The Weeha is also good, even with downforce. Some of the brands have markings on the caps. Most do not. Some manufacturers put the anti-roll feature on the cap, whereas others will put it down on the handle. Some brands put a hole in the handle, like this Conex and Philo, so that you can get more leverage, maybe, or so that you can hang it on a peg. So these are some other examples that are just a little bit higher up than a micro or a precision screwdriver. Okay, these ProTech and the RC Hobbies are really good. They're grippy, the caps spin, but not really. They really don't spin very well. But you get a lot of grip, they're very light, and they're rugged. I believe this is the smallest vessel ball drive, even in terms of the size of the ball handle and the tip, size one. This is the smallest vessel ball handle we make. So there is also this style in the vessel. This is a very grippy handle. This is hard plastic. This is very grippy. These are kind of neat screwdrivers, nice options for smaller stuff. Baco has a lot of really nice options in this handle style. I vaguely remember seeing some very small sizes. You really got to pay attention to the handle diameter when you're shopping for these, but check out Baco too for these. This is just kind of a curiosity. It's a Baco, but it's made in Germany. It's all smooth plastic, it's insulated. But I did not do any close ups of the tips on these. These are all higher end brands. All those tips are good. The highest polish tip is the PB Swiss and very high level of precision on the PB Swiss. PB Swiss, however, is a little bit more limited in the types of tips that you can get. So if you need variety for cell phones or whatever, check out Vera. The Weha is actually a bit holder that takes these four millimeter bits so that you have access to endless amounts of bit types. And I suppose I should just quickly mention that there are options for bit drivers as well. So this is HIOS, 
There's an HIOS adapter, and then this is an adapter that goes down to the four millimeter Weha bits that fits into the Centro fix. Uh, just a quick mention there. I like having screwdrivers. I don't like changing bits. All right. Oh, you want to see the whole collection? All right, let's. There we go. How about that? By the way, this larger handle G grip is a size one. Well, I hope that was an interesting look at micro screwdrivers, and thank you for watching.